through do a little bit of example uh, for this tutorial for electric current concept builder. So fundamentals are here. I'll do one of each just to take a look. Um, conventional current goes away from positive and toward negative, and that's how we've talked about things in class, and that's how the um, physics classroom is also going to talk about things. So this is a three-cell battery. So if you recall, the six-volt batteries we used had four cells inside of them, and then we used a D battery, which was just one cell. So two light bulbs, three label locations, four units of charge past point A in eight seconds, then how many will pass point C? And so basically this is half a unit of charge per second. So that agrees with that. That does not, that does not, and that does not. So it's a series circuit, so the rate of current should be the same everywhere. Let me check that. Hey, data way. So that's how you would do that first part. We're going back to the main menu. Yep, I'm going to return there. Now let's go to case studies. All right, in this case, uh, two cell, one bulb circuit. The bulb is a long bulb, and it talks about long bulbs and round bulbs in terms of the resistance. Um, so the number of arrows here and the number of these starbursts tell you how bright something is. So for example, this, fewer starbursts and fewer arrows, not as bright, not as much current. More and more. Um, so it says ball brightness and current is represented by starburst arrow tails, which case correctly represents the ball brightness and current if the long bulb is replaced by a lower resistance round bulb. So first of all, the current should go the same direction. All these do. The round bulb should have more current. Here, this shows the same amount of current as this, but this shows the bulb is brighter. If the bulb is brighter, there's going to be more current. So this is the correct answer in my mind. And let's check that. That away. So again, there's other ones here as well. And we're going to go back to the main menu. Yes, let's return. Hey, how about the lawbreakers? So these are actually really good. Um, same principles as before. You have to look carefully. Um, for example, in this case, it looks like the current's going away from the positive, but here on this side, current's going away from the negative, so that would not be allowed. Sometimes you'll see more current in one spot than another, and again, in a series circuit, that would not be allowed. Or you'll see brighter starbursts in one area than another, and again, series circuit, not allowed. So these diagrams represent ball brightness using starbursts and current using arrow tails. Give attention to the relative brightness of the bulbs. That means we're looking at them compared to each other within a circuit, not necessarily across things. Um, select any diagrams that incorrectly convey a current concept. So this one looks reasonable, except, nope, it doesn't because the current's leaving the negative. So that is wrong. That is a lawbreaker. So we'll put bars around it. Here, this has current leaving the positive on this side, but negative on this side, so this is a lawbreaker. This one looks reasonable. So in each of these cases, either one or two, I believe, now maybe it's zero, maybe it could be three, but from when I've done it, it's been one or two of these will be incorrect. And so you would put them behind bars. Let's check. All right, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to get out of that. That's my examples for this. Um, again, hopefully uh, that helps you out when you do this concept builder.